Hey, uh, Tom Hodson here in Kokomo, Indiana on uh, the 5th of November, 2019. And uh, I've got another requirement to make a carbon fiber dome. Uh, it's actually for an experimental aircraft, but it could be applied to a lot of things. Uh, it's kind of a unique requirement to make the pattern. And I thought I'd do a video here so I could uh, remember how I did it and or for anybody else that might want to get a couple points to possibly make a similar project. Anyway, it's starting out. This happens to be a, a paper pattern of what we're going to make. This is about 47 inches high and it's 40 inches wide a diameter. Uh, th this edge is uh, a continued different radius. So what I've done is uh, the pink insulation foam that's one inch thick, uh, which I bought and cut circles, you'll see in a minute. But these little dots here are one inch spacings. So I've plotted that out and measured the distance to cut circles out of the one inch foam. Uh, and then they're stacked up, glued together. You'll see it here in a minute. Uh, basically, I've made a, a hollow uh, foam core, uh, which we're going to make uh, the pattern. Uh, anyway, over here you'll see what I've already done. I basically made a turntable that has a center pivot on the floor. The table is got three ball bearing rollers, one third around the perimeter. This happens to be a 40 inch diameter uh, plywood base with these three rollers and it rolls like this. Uh, you can see this drill here with a rubber tire will drive this and, and it'll run in a circle. It'll be a little bit noisy when I turn it on so we're just you can see what's going on there with the with the drill motor driving this bottom plate to turn this stack of foam that's been glued to that plate. And uh, back on our drawing when we cut that in half you'll see here what I've done is bolted the half to this rigid 4x4 that's on the floor and also on the ceiling. So these are the two profiles that we're going to use to form this radius on this large chunk of, of pink foam, which later, after this is finished, will be covered with about three layers of 5-ounce fiberglass cloth to make it very rigid. And then I'll put uh, a filler material on top of that and then do a final sanding with this router. Uh, you can see what's going to happen here. Uh, this is just a fixture that's made to hold this router. And these, these legs will set on this, this profile that's going to be transferred to this foam as this rotates. So as that rotates, the router will be will be rotated up like so to cut the shape of that dome. Uh, anyway, I've had several rough cuts on it already. As you can see the mess here, which I already filled up one trash can. Anyway, uh, I thought it might be of interest for anybody to see, uh, and I've been experimenting the speed to rotate that versus the speed of the router and the type of cutter on the router. Uh, later, I'm going to be putting a coarse sanding disc on the router, which will sand this uh, to a smoother finish uh, after I get done the, the, making the final cut, which I'm just about ready to do a final cut on it now. And I thought I would uh, videotape this. You can see just how all this works together, which I just did this morning for the first time. Wasn't sure how it was going to work, but I'm very happy with how it's how it's turning out. Anyway, um, that's what I have here, and uh, I'll go ahead and turn this on. We'll turn on the drive motor here. You can see how fast it runs. Uh, I have had trouble with once the floor gets piled up, I'll have to stop and vacuum up the floor because the rollers start running over the uh, shavings. But anyway. Here's the, here goes the motor, and you can see how that's running. 